everyone. Today, well, I'm glad from the woods here. Um, Winterfell camp, but we're not at camp. We are Sunday, uh, September 15th. The weather again is just spectacular, like absolutely wickedly spectacular. Um, I just keep having this hole in my gut, like this spot going, I wish I was in Sable Beach. I wish I was in Sable Beach. I'm imagining the campground sitting there all empty with this beautiful weather because they close. Um, although I did find out, interestingly enough, that Sable Falls Provincial Park, it's an Ontario Provincial Park, is open till October 27th. And it's like, God, I wish I had the money to go up there and spend, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to do three weeks, obviously, again, but uh, wrong time of year. I got to get ready for everything. But and even saying that, I got new glasses. I got to pay like $1,200 for I gotta you know it's get ready with the wood stove I gotta find Selkirk pipe but all this stuff so there's no way I'm going camping to Sable Beach but boy does it ever make a hole in my gut it's like god damn it you know like this is such a bummer that you know that the weather is so nice and it's nice there um what this guy's doing is he waving is he stuck think so. I don't know what he's doing there. Jeez, I didn't notice if he was waving like he needed help. He, well, if he did, he would have, because he would, like, I looked at him when I went by, and he's just kind of sitting there, so I'm guessing he's on his cell phone, like, he stopped, and it's like, oh, shit, I gotta check this out. He'd be better off to pull to the side, safety-wise, because you just know somebody's gonna not pay attention to what he's doing there. Anyways, whatever, that's his problem. Um, so, yeah, I'm on my way to Carlton Place for Mom, uh, and myself. I, um, I've decided to make uh, a couple of crock pot meals. It's September, but it's usually colder this time of year. But I'm gonna I'm gonna make some cowboy beans. I used to make those at the campground in Cloyne every year for our uh, Thanksgiving um, potluck at the campground. And that's when the campground officially closed. Um, but uh, obviously, I'm not at that campground anymore, and I won't be at the potluck. So, but I'm gonna make my cowboy beans, which were legendary at that campground. I couldn't make enough of them every time we had a potluck. Every Everybody first thing out of there, yeah, could you make some of those really good cowboy beans? And it's like, yeah. And of course, Norm was alive then, so he wanted them because it had bacon in it, you know, things like he likes. So, anyhow, so I, I got the ingredient list here. I'm going to get the fixings for that, and I'm going to do a uh, proper gumbo with okra and all that as well in the crock pot. So, it's two different meals, um, and then I can, uh, I've got a bunch of smaller jars that I got for free. Um, you know, like this, they're actually be good for jam. I don't make jam though, but um, anyway, they'll be good for like small little meals. I can put the stuff in there and throw them in the freezer. So anyway, um, so yeah, so I'm on my way to Carl Place. Plus my, my mom needs some stuff that I couldn't get in birth on, uh, what was it, Friday? And uh, oh God, it's deer apple time. I just noticed all these apples on this one tree. I better, I don't know who's doing what this year, whether anybody's coming to go, coming camping here, not camping, hunting here this year at my place. Um, Cause usually I start feeding the deer about now and then, uh, you know, there's all these nice apples that are just falling off onto the ground. Um, uh, then we call, I call them deer apples. Cause that, you know, you can put them near the feeders and it'll draw the deer in, but I'm not gonna bother if nobody's gonna come hunting this year. I'll just, you know, fuck it whatever you know leave the deer be um i know i've got a dozen on there anyways like well i haven't actually i need to get one because they're really cheap right now uh trail cam i don't need a fancy one where i can see everything live but you know it can, it can record and then i can just walk and you know put it on my phone and check it or whatever but anyways uh i should probably still have around a dozen deer so i mean unless they've gone elsewhere and got themselves shot or whatever but i have this little herd there and uh so nobody hunted last year they were supposed to come kurt and chris and randy but i can't remember i guess it was chris that got sick so they didn't come but uh anyways uh um i'll see what's happening with that but anyhow um yeah so i just saw those uh things so carl blaze i'm talking about that um I just did a video, a uh, political video on uh, a voice from the bush, but it's not like 
because I'm independent. I'm not right or left. I'm, you know, I'm, uh, I'm again. Uh, how do how do I say that? It's not about right versus left anymore. It's about us against the uh, the power, the powers that be or whatever. So that's where I'm at. It's like I don't care who you vote for. <laughs> if you're on the same side, which means us against the rich people who are just squashing us, you know, then you're my friend. Okay. Anyway, I don't I don't live for politics. I used to when I was younger, and then I realized, you know what, this is really stupid. Anyhow, because um, it doesn't matter what we do, it's not going to change anything, or at least very little. Anyhow, not unless you know both countries completely upend both governments, and I mean burn it to the ground and start fresh because it's captured. Anyways, uh, so I was doing that video, and then I thought, well, I'll go ahead and do like you know a, a shorter uh, vlog. I'll probably do some later because when I get back, um, I'm going to. Uh, uh, fix up one of the fishing rods that I haven't fixed up yet. I'm gonna load everything into the boat that I need, and we're gonna head down to Robertson Lake today and try some fishing. I was gonna go yesterday, fell asleep, um, but today I'm up and at them, and uh, it's a decent time. It's only 20 after one, so uh, it won't take me. If it takes me two hours, I'd be surprised, and then uh, that'll give me an hour or so to do some stuff, get ready. I brought uh, two gas cans with me. One that I'm going to put the 50 to 1 mix uh, for the boat, and that'll give me about 12 gallons, uh, 10, well, 11, 12 gallons of gas, and uh, for the boat, so that'll be more than enough for today. And then um, I got the little small one, which I'm going to make the 25 to 1 mix for the new uh, weed whipper. So uh, yeah, I got to get some. Uh, two-stroke oil that is specifically for things like the weed whipper you can't use marine uh, marine oil in it like meaning two-stroke marine oil and uh, it's not the same and if you look at the uh, it's 25 to 1 to begin with for this weed whipper and that's because I'm certain of it it's almost 10,000 rpm it's revving out at the top end and I'm like ooh, okay definitely 25 to 1 I guess but um, it has to be that's oil not specifically for that brand of weed whipper it's just small engine two stroke oil so I could I'll be able to get that at Walmart because I am going to Walmart got to go to bulk barn get my mother some salt free pretzels um, I normally have been ordering from Amazon but the company that sells the bags is only selling like three bags at a time it's like a 35 bucks and I'm like Jesus that's way too many pretzels for her all in one shot she won't eat them that fast and they'll get soft over time I don't know but anyways it's 30 five bucks too it's like fuck so anyway I'm gonna go to bulk barn I don't regularly go there but uh, hopefully they'll have her saltless uh, pretzels and I'll be able to get them there I got mom's wheat fins uh, from Amazon delivered yesterday the family size which are like half the price on Amazon I got a bit of coffee uh, some peanut butter for me so but the rest I got to get over here uh, like I say at Carlton place so and I need to go to Walmart I need to go to the pet store because I need to get some food for the cats um, I've been keeping them on the uh, indoor, you know, weight thing because Blackie's getting was getting big. Uh, Wally was as well. Goldie seems to hold her weight no matter what I give her. Uh, she's just, you know, she's her size and that's it. She's not a big cat by any stretch. Um, like her head, if you ever look at Goldie's head as opposed to Blackie's head, I mean, her head's like almost half the size of him. But anyway, Blackie's... You know, he's a big boy. I don't want him to get too fat and then we end up with diabetes, you know, uh, a cat with diabetes and then that's really a bad thing. Um, so, and uh, of course I love my little Blackie the cat. So um, anyway, so I have them on the lighter food. So uh, uh, they seem to like it. What is with this old Elks wagon here? I don't wanna, okay, I'm just gonna go past this guy. Wow, an old bug. That's like a really old bug from the 60s. That's the air-cooled motor, no doubt, and uh, the uh, where you have to put fuel in for the heater separately, I guess. Wow. Anyway, you don't see my those classic, classic car. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll call this the road vlog uh, for today, and then I'll do a separate one for when I get back. Um, I think I've got today's Sunday too. I said I was gonna get the um, the uh, um, blah 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 the um, 
the water the water sprinkler uh, for the back for the for the plants I'm gonna get that set up today and run the sprinkler because it's been a few days there's been no rain and I gave them that really good feeding my new mega crop uh, the stuff that's for blooming showed up Jesus I I kept thinking why are they selling me su such small bags and then I look at the, uh, the, the, the the like on the back of it going well how much you know am I gonna need and it's like oh crap one teaspoon for every six gallons and I'm like oh Christ that's uh, not a whole lot like obviously the stuff is strong so my 60 gallon thing in the back um, well then that would be uh, what did I just say so 10 tablespoon 10 teaspoons which is 50 milliliters so that's really just a couple of couple of tablespoons uh, what did I just say one teaspoon for six gallons so that's 10 teaspoons times five is 50 grams or 50 milliliter whatever that is so then then that's like a tablespoon and a half or 60 gallons so that must be some pretty strong stuff for the blooming so anyway uh, so that's why the package is so small and I've got lots for a long time at that mixture um, oh, check this out I think this is a camper yeah, it is. Look at this. A Unity. Never even heard of it. I want to make sure I'm doing... I don't want to get hit here because 7 is busy. All right, well, I'm not going to run the whole uh, 50 or 15 minutes or whatever. So, anyways, you guys have seen all this before, Highway 7. Um, so, my first stop will be at... Uh, Walmart because Freshco is where I got to buy the frozen stuff for my mom and so what I'll do is I'll do Walmart first and then um, um, what the hell's that cat here Walmart first independent grocer and then Freshco and then I guess that'll be home oh pet food store for the cats oh hey everyone you guys probably will see this as a transition or whatever they call that because the phone overheated on my way into Carlton Place so I suddenly was over so anyway it's still Sunday the 15th uh, at the woods here on my way back from Carlton Place I had a couple of stupid things happen one I surprised my mom didn't say anything but I didn't give her her onion rings or her dole salad like you know the little bags of salad and uh, she never said a word. I got mine because I got the same thing from Giant Tiger. Well, hers ended up being in my truck for the last two, well, since Friday with this heat and everything. So anyway, obviously frozen onion rings and dole salad is not going to be any good. So that goes to the garbage, unfortunately. But my mom never said a word. I'm surprised. Anyways, uh, I'll have to go back to Perth uh, maybe tomorrow or Tuesday and I'll grab her 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 onion rings, frozen onion rings, and uh, the dole salad. It should still be on sale. Yeah, it'll be still on sale tomorrow. I think the sale changes. Uh, oh, what's going on here? Come on, guys. I'm always turning, I guess. I don't know. One guy's got his signal on. You gotta, I was, uh, one of the reasons I came on, came on is like, oh my God, the stupid people, they're just out. There's still lots of people from cottages because the highway is just packed going back towards Ottawa. But like, you know, I gotta say something to you folks that wit, whine, bitch, and moan about the today's generation being lazy and this and that and all this. Well, I walked around a shopping, you know, shop, like a shopping place You've got people that are parking their carts in the middle of the aisles without any regard for anybody else, going down the wrong way like they're in England or something on the wrong side. And then on top of everything else, on the way out, there's carts just left strewn in the middle of everything, uh, carts in the, in, the, in the parking lot, just, and it's like 10 feet away to put the carts away. So this is the example you're setting for these kids. And you're gonna complain about these kids when you can't even get your shit fucking right. Okay, so you guys can fuck off because I just seen it. I should have filmed it. It's like 
I'm surprised it, it won't be a surprise to anyone else that goes shopping and you just got to look around and you're going like holy crap man people are stupid and lazy and then you got the balls to complain about generation Z kids or Z kids you know they're lazy they this or that well you've set a fine example for them you can't even put a shopping cart away or out of the middle of the road or five other things I've seen today you know, little old lady, she can't reach. People are walking right by her. She's stretching, she's trying to do it. Would have taken one second for somebody to grab the can for her. I did. And I'm like, I know, you know, like is this the example you set your kids? And then you got people who bring like 15 kids with them shopping. They're all over the place running around. They're in the middle of everything. You're trying to get through. Other people are trying to get through. And these people are just like, whatever. Fuck you, it's my world. I'll do whatever I want. And I'm going, then, you know, I hope I don't hear you complaining about kids and everything because you're the fucktards that are setting these examples. Anyways, it's a beautiful day. It's already uh, still a beautiful day. It's 10 after 3. I don't know if I'm going to make it fishing now. This took longer than I thought. And I'm rushing back because I don't want my mom's stuff to get unfrozen. She wanted these chocolate eclairs. Um, but normally, I guess we get them at Metro, but they don't have them there. So they've got these mini eclairs in a box by President's Choice. And I think that she had me get those before for her. So hopefully she's okay with that. It's better than nothing. And at this point, there's nothing. She wanted me to get her Best Buy lasagna, but I don't even know who sells Best Buy. We couldn't figure it out. It wasn't at Preshko. It's not Walmart. That's great value. Uh, independent is President's Choice or used to be no name, that's all disappearing. It's compliments at Fresco as well. And then selection at Metro, which used to be, I think, compliments. And I don't know, I'm all mixed up there. Anyways, um, yeah, there's just lots of stuff are disappearing off the shelves and the selection keeps getting smaller. It's, it's weird. Um, you would think that, you know, as we go along, there'd be more foods from different countries and all that. Freshco has separate sections for that. Independent does. But, and those are, I'm going to say, expanded or are expanding. But, like, when it comes to North American foods, like, we're getting less and less choice. And it's like, holy crap, you know. Sorry, guys, but I won't be eating any bugs anytime fucking soon. I don't know the ones I accidentally ingest. Because uh, I don't know what's going on out there. I mean, they're forcing people to buy stuff. You can't get No Name Orange Juice anymore, which was my mom's favorite. Then it was, I think it was, it was Compliments uh, Orange Juice at Metro. Now you can't get that in the carton anymore. Uh, plastic bottle, and it's from Selection now. So yeah, she hasn't said anything about the, this orange juice yet, but I'm betting it's probably not the stuff she likes. And there are no other kinds anymore. Uh, I mean, other than the fancy Del Monte and all that, she doesn't want any of that stuff. She says those are all bad tasting to her anyways. I, I couldn't tell you either way. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, I don't know what's going on with the shopping folks. It's really getting bad. I don't know, maybe it's down, down different down in the United States, but it's definitely getting bad here. Um, don't know why. Um, of course, you know, you've got... Like what, four grocery store chains pretty much got the monopoly on everything in this country, like everything else, like Bell Canada, you know, monopoly for phones, pretty much for landlines. Although I don't know who use landlines anymore. My mom does still. But, I mean, it's always been that way. It's actually illegal according to our Canadian laws. Our government is not supposed to be supporting monopolies. So, but anyway, they've been breaking those laws for 50 years or more. So... And of course, the idiot in charge there now, Trudeau, who is nothing like his father, is probably is <laughs> like the conspiracy people think he's the son of uh, Castro. I think that would be more likely compared to what I know of his father and his older brother that was killed uh, in a skiing accident. I think he was older, Michelle. Anyways, he was more like his dad. But Justin Trudeau is nothing like his father at all. Doesn't even look like him. So, um, looks like his mother a bit, but. Anyway, whatever. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, well, I guess I already did. Anyway, um, yeah. I'm starting to get concerned about these groceries and stuff. Uh, Selection-wise. You know, I got an 8-year-old mother that's used to having her food her way. You know, and 
on everything. So, anyway, well, I, there's not much else to say for the moment. I, I have not completely given up on the idea of fishing. Um, I'm just wanting to make sure I have enough time because by the time I get to my mom's, it's going to be another 20 minutes, so that's going to be like 3.30, finish unloading there, quarter to 4, finish unloading at the trailer, 4.30, yeah, 5 o'clock, and by the time I get down there and launch, it'll be 5.36, so, I mean, I'll just have to turn around and come in an hour and a half later, it gets dark, or two hours. So, being that I don't work, and I have no other plans tomorrow, as far as I know, I will go tomorrow fishing makes no difference and just as well because there's lots of cottagers and campers out here they're leaving now I mean obviously they go back to work and their kids back to school but with this nice weather it's definitely definitely busier out here so that busier than normally in September and that's why I like September's because they all go away so I'm kind of curious like I said on the way down I was like I got this big empty spot like I want to be back in Sable Beach because of the weather and everything but at the same time, the place is probably near empty uh, because all the big campgrounds shut down after Labor Day weekend, at least the ones that I know outside of the provincial park, which I just found out is open to the 27th. But I can't afford to go there. And by the time I could afford to go there, it'll be too cold and that'll be that. So anyways, we'll see about doing some local camp uh, sites here, maybe a crown land or something. I don't know. I kind of like to be in a provincial park. You know that's still open because uh, you know there's there'll be other people about and that'd be kind of nice too so I don't know when Luke's gonna come up if he can even come up he's back to six days a week working and of course he has his life and all the rest of it and of course uh, you know it costs money to come up here back so anyway gas keeps getting cheaper so anyway I don't know what he's doing um, I mean I do know what he's doing I just he's not coming here as of yet he hasn't completely canceled it out coming here but I, it's not looking good so and right now he needs every penny he can come up with for the bus bill I mean it's not like he's you know full of money to do that kind of thing so he's just a regular working stiff uh, you know and uh, so it's all about paying rent bills and food right so anyway um, I'll uh, I, I, we talk almost every day, like texting, like, you know, it's always a good day. How's it going, lad? Or he does the vice versa. He wished me luck to go fishing last night, late last night. I think he was working the night shift maybe at the reserve. I don't know for sure. Um, Heritage Day, September 21st in Middleville. That's new. Heritage Day. Okay. I, I'm trying to think when I've heard of that. I mean, there was the Middleville Fair. That's always been a thing. I don't know when that was. The Carp Fair... It's a big deal. It comes up uh, well, this coming week, actually. It starts Thursday or Friday. I won't be going. I wish I could, but I can't. Can't afford it. I've got bills to pay. Um, these groceries, you know, put a big dent in my money. So that's another thing I'm thinking, well, you know what? Um, if I'm going to pick a day to go fishing, I'd like to leave the trailer at around 3 o'clock, and then by the time I load it in the water, it'll be 4. And that'll be a, give me a good three solid hours of fishing. So so I think tomorrow, Monday, we'll see. Um, I'm just, I can't think of anything else that I had planned for tomorrow. <coughs> I'm going to uh, put this food away, uh, go back to the back. I guess I'll have to put that on Rumble because I can't put it on YouTube for the for the plants. But I'm going to hook up the hose to the sprinkler. Uh, the plant should be dried up a bit, so I need to move them around. I was finding it hard to move them around because I put the, you know, I fed them water and uh, nutrients, and uh, of course it made it heavy. And of course I want to start moving them after when I should have done it before. Anyway. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do is because, like I said, I still got these chores. So by the time I get this stuff done, there's no way I'm going fishing today. But if I get it done today, water the plants for a couple hours anyway today, um, that'll be good. And maybe I can get, rescue them a bit. So, But I'll have to film that on the Osmo and I'll do that with the uh, for the for the rumble. So, cause, uh, no, uh, so you guys want to see what's going on back there and all that? Well, I've already done one video. I haven't put it up yet. Maybe I should get that one uh, edited, and then I'll get that one put away, um, you know, uploaded. But then this new one I'm going to film today, uh, 
um, for rumble too. So, anyways, it's coming up on 13 minutes. Uh, there's really not much else to say for today. Uh, yeah, so we'll do the. This is during the day vlog, and then there'll be a later in the day vlog when I get back, get everything done, and that vlog will be strictly for rumble, and that'll be to do with the plants and whatever else. So. Okay, well, I'm going to end this. Uh, yeah, that's about it for this week. Weather's going to be nice uh, all week, supposedly. Uh, this same thing. Um, so I expect this coming weekend will be busy. Yeah, people will be coming out. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just have to be back with more news when I have it. Okay, so as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, always helps the channel. We're at 443. We've been stuck there for a little while. I've noticed a big drop in hits all of a sudden. When I was in Sable Beach, I was getting tons of hits, you know, putting stuff up. I'm still putting up Sable Beach stuff, but the hits have gone down. So I don't know if it's because my location is different. I have no idea. Anyways, yeah, you can see the hits have gone right down. So whatever. I mean, you know, the people that are watching, uh, well, they're the ones that are watching and the ones that aren't, well, they aren't. I guess that's kind of obvious, right? Okay, anyways, be good to your fellow human. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys want to support the channel or anything like that financially, there's uh, for tips or whatever, paypal.com slash slide from the woods or buymeacoffee.com slash slide from the woods. And there's even an Amazon wish list. I call it a needs list for the camp and stuff. You know, there'll probably be some stuff I'll be adding for the bus future in case anybody wants to be whatever. And uh, yeah. So there we go. Peace, long life, live long and prosper. And we're just coming up to Middleville. So I'm gonna shut her down. Okay, it'll be 15 minutes exactly, so that's perfect. Okay, everyone, bye-bye.